Hey everybody, I'm TBG Hunter, and welcome back to more Fallout New Vegas. Last time, we made it, finally, to Novak. And, unfortunately, we weren't being able to get any information on the guy who shot us until we clear out the Repcon rocket facility. So, that's what we're doing. We finally made it, we made it to the facility, we killed some ghouls, we found some dead nightkin, and we also heard someone with a raspy voice who sounded pretty much like a ghoul. Uh, instruct us to come to this part of the rocket facility. And so, standing at the threshold of this door that leads to the research labs, let us head in and meet the guy who has been directing us. God, but are you ugly. Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. Hey, wait, you're not a ghoul. Your pranks won't work on me, Smoothskin. They won't work on Jason either. Smoothskin? Your sm skin seems smooth to me, pal. Stop wasting my time, Smoothskin. Go waste Jason's. Very well. Then I guess to address Jason, I shall talk like you. To, you know, immerse myself in the cool lifestyle. Jason will deliver us. Where is Jason, by the way? Are you him? Why do you look like Stubbs the zombie? Also, I probably shouldn't call you that because that's kind of racist towards you guys because you hate being called zombies. Hello, Wanderer. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? Wait a second. That voice. We need a detector, a device that would identify the rarest things in the universe. Oh my god, you're me! Uh, who are you, by the way? Besides the fact that you're secretly me. I am Jason Bright, the prophet of the Great Journey. All the ghouls you see here are members of my flock. Oh my god, in the future I go crazy and lead a group of cultists. Tell me about these demons that you seem to be having trouble with. The demons appeared from nowhere. Except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering, like sunlight on water. Oh, that sounds familiar. They set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely, and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us died, or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the Great Journey to a standstill. Well, you do but know one broke down come. to the door. Once again, the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. You see, Ed, one of them raved at you? Were they throwing a sick party down there or something? Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside. Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away. It went on for hours and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then, silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Do I have a choice? Praise the Creator. Bless you, Wanderer. Bless us all. As soon as the Underground has been rid of demons, preparations for the Great Journey can resume. Oh my god. It's the freaking Covenant from Halo in ghoul form. Is the way clear? Can I ask a few things first? Uh, why is your last name Bright? An auspicious name, don't you think? It was mine before I became as I am now. Before the Great War, even. Truly does the Creator author a destiny for each and every one of us. Or has a sick twist of humor. Uh, what is the Great Journey? And if it's what I think it is, I'm gonna be murdering all of you any minute now. We wish to escape the barbarity of the Wasteland, especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land, a place of safety and healing, a paradise in the far beyond. 
Preparations for the great journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. Uh, how will you make the journey, quote unquote? The means by which the great journey is to be accomplished are an article of faith, not to be discussed with outsiders. I see. So the fact that I just come in, you know, deal, want me to deal with this problem, and yet you won't tell me what this journey is. I have glimpsed it only in visions, Wanderer, but what I have seen is truly miraculous. It is a place of light and healing, and I know in my soul that my flock will be safe there. Alright, well, what's the deal with the guy who talks like this, but doesn't realize he's not even a ghoul? You're referring to Chris. I doubt you had much luck if you tried telling him that he's human. We had the same discussions when he first appeared, and the same lack of success. He believes he is one of us. Soon enough we realized that Chris was a gift from the Creator. He is integral to the success of the Great Journey. So I guess you could say he is the Fallout New Vegas equivalent of Ghoulman! The savior of the wasteland, or some balding guy who has identity issues. Whatever. What? Alright, well, I guess we gotta deal with these nightkin that have been terrorized in the basement. So, let us go. I got killed in the Jew, but you know what? One of them's been talking. He seems like he can be reasoned with. Maybe I can sneak my way down there and see what's the deal and maybe convince them to get out. Because, you know, those things are pretty much freaking super mutants. Also, I did not notice this dead ghoul here. Okay. Those guys are pretty much super mutes. I don't think I have what it takes to fight all of them, even if I am carrying a walking an arsenal on my back. Let's see. That's just the way in. I think I cleared out all the ghouls that, well, were feral out here. Now, this is going to require stealth. I don't think Eddie's going to be that much help. So, Eddie, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to... Where is it? I need you to wait here. Guard this door with your life, Eddie. I shall return, maybe. Is there anything I can do to help me sneak better? No, there will not be. You know what? I'll wear these goggles, because why? It makes me look like a robber. Kind of. So now it's time to play a game of Metal Gear. This is actually, if you do take the stealth route, which I will attempt to do, it actually does get pretty intense down here. And the fact that I have Eddie as my companion, even if he isn't following me, I have the enhanced sensor, so he can help me when there's trouble nearby. Here one. I don't see one. Mm. I do have a stealth boy, so it can help out a little bit. I don't want to. I don't want to end up just waiting here for like five minutes. Let's go invisible. Let's see if we can sneak our way past these guys. Seen anything? Saw a little bit of shimmering, but I think that might have been just been smoke. Someone's friendly in here, so let's see who it is. Uh oh! That Antler? We have a visitor, an assassin, more like. I say, kill it, Antler, for safe sake. Hmm. Okay, Antler, I'll ask. Ah, uh, hi, human. Why you come here? I, get, I came here on behalf of the ghouls upstairs. I am their ambassador of peace. A human who is friend to ghouls? Suspicious. You mean the ones upstairs? Antler used intercom, told them stay put, but they want to come down in basement anyways. I cannot allow. My kin are not right in head like I am. They attack you on sight. Ghouls too. They crazy. 
and your ghoul friends have to wait until you find what Antra brought us to get. Maybe I can help. Good. Antra brought us here for a reason. Why was that, Antra? Right. A, a piece of paper. Shipment invoice. Hundreds of stealth boys sent here a, a long time ago. Ooh, but stealth boys of stealth must boys, be you in say. the one room. One we don't search yet. The one we can't search. Why can't you search the last room? A ghoul, but not squishy like others. This ghoul is tough. I thought Antler said, send my kin into that room, but three died. Ghoul is a crack shot and set traps too. After I realized, I heard Antler wrong, so I locked the door to keep Ken out and wait for Antler to tell me what to do. Then, you come along. Antler says you are solution. I'll find a self boy stockpile for you if your kin agrees to leave this place. Yes, Antler says we leave here as soon as we get stealth boys. Let me give you key. Antler had me lock the door. The ghoul inside, not expecting a human. Maybe he don't shoot you. Maybe he will. Alrighty then. <laughs> well, I am invisible, so that helps. I don't want to end up having to use all my stealth boys in this because, again, Nightkin, also known as Super Mutants, tough. Oh, hey, a stealth boy that can replace the one I just used. Come and get it, you big dumb. Hey, you're not one of those things out there. Who the hell are you? Uh, Jason, Jason sent me to take care of these quote-unquote demons. And I bet he told you it's the creator's will for you to risk your ass instead of him, right? Well, good luck with that. I'd give you a hand, but no thanks. I may look like a corpse, but I'm partial to living. How'd you end up trapped down here? First off, I'm not trapped. This was a tactical choice, alright? I'm no match for those things out there. So I found a good defensive position, and I've been defending it, right? Oh, who am I fooling? I'm trapped. Name's Harland. Pleased to meet you. What happened was, I was escorting folks down to work when those things attacked us. Most of the fight was upstairs, but some folks panicked and made for the basement, and I went after them. Well, turns out there were even more of those bastards down here than upstairs, and things went to shit fast. I couldn't find the others, so I fell back to this room, set up a nice little kill zone. End of story. You don't look like the other ghouls from his group, though. Guess the outfit gives that away, huh? I never did buy into that religious mumbo-jumbo with the robes and all that shit. It gets lonely out in the wastes, okay? And I don't have to tell you that Bright's group has got some fine-looking ghoulettes in it. Huh. Or maybe I would have to tell you. Anyway, I helped them out, and they kept me supplied with ammo. And pleasant company. Ah, a man of fortune, I see. We do share a connection. How long? Well, then, how the hell have you survived? I'm not delicate. Rad roach meat for protein, condensation off the pipes for water, and I do my business over in the far corner. I wouldn't say it's been comfy. I should probably bring up a gas mask in here, shouldn't I? Alright, well, can I get you out of this place anyway? Huh. Well, you're polite. I'll give you that. If this was just between you and me, I'd do as you ask. But it's not. I had a friend with me when those mutant bastards came out of nowheres. She panicked and ran the wrong direction. Further into the basement. Of course she did. probably dead. But I ain't leaving until I know for sure. I'd have gone looking myself. Except I wouldn't last a minute out there. You, on the other hand, seem pretty resourceful. Find my friend, and I'll get out of your way. Alright, I'll find your friend. Thanks. Let me know what you find out. Here's hoping she's okay. I feel as though people are taking me for granted nowadays. Alright, well... I can't do anything because he actually will open fire on you if you get too close to the door over there. I'm worried how long my stealth boy is going to last. 
You know what? I got another one. I'm gonna use to extend the time. I'm nervous because this is a night can up ahead. I can't see him though. They're opening doors. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. I'm running around down here. Whoop! Oh, that was close. Like I said, sneaking around here gets pretty freaking intense. If you want to take the stealth option. You can't outright kill them all, but it's not easy. Here goes one. Almost. Oh, shit. You keep it up, pal. Uh, don't worry about that. Gonna sneak my way down into this area. It seems like the furthest location in the basement there is. Uh oh, we got one in here. Hmm. The only way to go is down. Oh shit, please don't tell me he turned away. Around. Alright, he's going that way. Now we, uh, now we need a key to get down there because the door behind it is locked. We could kill that Nikon over there because he does have the key. However, he's carrying a freaking incinerator, so I don't think that's the wisest decision. Also, I probably should close this so he doesn't see it because this wears off. However, we don't need to kill him because there is actually a key over here, I think. If I remember right. Desk, please. Jail key, there it is. Oh shit, here it comes. Oop. Now the reason I'm not attacking some of the Night Kin out here is the fact that Davison, the guy who uh, we talked to earlier, the guy with the Brahmin skull, uh, if you kill too many Night Kin down here, he actually does become hostile uh, along with all the other ones, and yeah, I don't want to deal with him right now, or possibly ever. Because, you know, he, he seems like a decent guy. He just doesn't want others to get hurt because he does his uh, kin is not right in the head. So he is just trying to keep them safe and get what he wants. So help him get what he wants. Also, there's his friend. So we have to go report the bad news. Pretty sure my stealth boy is gonna run out of any minute, so but when I get back to the stairs, I'm gonna use a new one. That seems like a good thing to use. Uh, the only thing I'm gonna I'm worried about is that one nightkin that's over by the staircase. Because he's for some reason he loves to run back and forth. And even if you're stealth, uh, for anyone who hasn't uh, ever played this and knows the stealth mechanics, even if you're stealth with a stealth boy, uh, if they touch you, obvious reasons they'll know you're there. And this guy is unpredictable. I don't know what happened to him. Alright, let's see. Yeesh. Yep, here it comes. He's over there. Oh, that was close. How did he not see me? Alright, I'm getting out of here before he sees me and I lose my cloaking. Sneaky time. Sneaky time, fun time! Metal Gear! <sighs> Alright. We're still not in the safe because we have to do get back to Davidson because... Did you find me? And friend? there's also a chance that he will see me if he comes Please. around the corner. Damn it. I'm gonna miss that crooked yellow smile. 
All right. You did your part, so I'll do mine. Look around up here if you want. I'm gonna make a break for topside. Oh, good luck with that. It's not like they need the traps anymore. A tripwire. Pair of 45 to disable the shotgun. Some bear trap. Hots. Oop. Ow! Right in front of a first aid thing. And my stealth boy just ran out, so I got. Ow! That hurts. I'm not very observant, as you probably come to see. No. Uh, shipment mistake. First off, let me say everyone here is really excited about the merger. It's super. You have you gotten some kinks in the supply chain yesterday. A bunch of crates got delivered here by containing gross. It's called Stealth Boys. It is okay if I ask what those things are. They do really make you invisible. That sounds wild. Uh, Rob Coat thinks of next. So let me know the shipment came here by mistake. No problem. If it didn't, I bet you can have a lot of fun with those things. Thanks, Bill Martin. Shipment sent back. Let's see. We're sending back tw two crates of dialogue that I can't see. Devices. Labeled Stealth Boys back to you according to the manifest. Each crate contained one gross. 100, wow, 144 Stealth Boys per crate. As a result, the employee misbehavior could. So, yeah, the shipment's not here, so we gotta go tell Davidson that his, his shipment sadly did nev not ever arrive. Also, look at these bear traps. Someone's gonna get themselves killed from these things. Like this poor fellow. Who sadly has nothing on him that's good. God for hence Susan. One's right in front of me, I can feel it. Come on, go away, go away, go away. Heard one walking. There he goes. All right, now we can go. Sneaky, sneaky. Metal Gear. Antler sings for stealth boys. Have you found them? Sorry, there's no stockpile in the building. Liar! The envoy said stealth boys here. Antler read it out loud to me. The stealth boys were sent back by sent here by mistake. They were sent back. But invoice note said stealth boys were here. Why can't that note be true? What, Antler? But human could be lying. He's stealing the stealth boys for itself. <laughs> oh, Antler, you trust so easy. Your lucky day, human. Antler, believe you. Nikon will follow the new note to find stealth boys. Better be there. Well, good luck with that. And the skull's gone, so he took it with him. Uh, Davison? Davison, I know that I know mutants aren't known for their smarts. Well, most part anyway. But yeah, you we're having a little trouble getting through the door. Now, thankfully, since we solved that peacefully, all the nightkin down here will not try to kill me. I gotta say that was pretty intense. That was really freaking intense. Well, let's hope Eddie did a good job in holding the line. I'll be damned, Daddy. I'm impressed. Good job. All right, let's get going, buddy. Back up to the followers and let them know the good news. Uh, 
Hello? Pizza delivery. Jason? Is the way clear? The demons are gone. Praise the Creator, and bless you, Wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. There is much to be done. Of course there's much to be done. Couldn't ever be easy, could it? I'm gonna ransack your tool cabinet. All you got is tire and iron, damn it. But you do have some rat away. I'm going to take that. I don't know what ghouls need with all this rat away stuff. I, oh, I guess they could have gotten it for Heartland. Or Chris. No, why don't I think of Heartland? What's my moral compass at right now? Adventurer! Tally ho! Alright, let's go. Back down to the basement, but at least th this time Eddie can come with us. Is that a ghoul wearing a spacesuit? This quest just came all that better. I hope I can find a cool spacesuit like that. Let's go into the Robco facility. Or, well, into the basement. I'm already in the Robco facility. What the hell am I talking about? Hello, sir. All praise the great journey. Yeah, yeah, you're crazy and all that stuff. Praise Cthulhu and all that, all that junk. Let's just get going. Gotta go even further down into the basement. Into the basement basement. Because that is where our goal lies. Still following me? Hey, you're still following pretty well, Eddie. I'm impressed. Yes, you, you know how to follow someone. That's impressive. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Are you seriously going to make the great journey on those things? Really? Those look like toy model rockets. Yes. The rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. Those rockets will convey you and your flock straight into the ground. I understand your concerns, friend, and I thank you for voicing them. But the Creator's will for us has been made manifest. Uh, I'll go talk to Chris. After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human. But this only angered him. He seemed... lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us, to ensure the success of the Great Journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity, and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the Great Journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you, and Chris, to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. You are Redeemers both. So you're just gonna leave him behind? Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that, were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. 
The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. I don't think there's radiation- Oh, you know what, UV rays, that kind of made more sense. So, forget what I said about no radiation in space, I'm an idiot. You really pulled the wool over his eyes. I take no pleasure in hiding the truth from Chris. But it is the Creator's will to which I must submit. Goodbye, There is Jason. no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Chris, hello, buddy. Hey. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. So the Great Journey will use the rockets? Obviously. It's taken months, but I've nearly got them in working order. Soon they'll take us to the far beyond. I was skeptical at first, of course, being a man of science. But Jason is certain, and I believe in Jason. How can I help? I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent, and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom-built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. Wait. What about these rocket souvenirs? The stuff inside that glows? Yes, that's Isotope 239, all right. And there's enough here to launch the rockets. Now all I need is the thrust control modules. Can you give me any tips? Repcon has been ransacked so many times by scavengers, it's hard to know where the components might turn up. If they turn up. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. All right, well, thank you for your time. All we need to do now is find those thrust control modules, and we're pretty much set. And, oh my god, it is. Yes, 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 over encumbered, yes, yes, Eddie. Take the incinerator, I don't need it. Got a lot of razor rifles, damn. Yes! I've a dream! Achieved my dream of being a spaceman! Am I wearing goggles inside my helmet now? Actually, you know what? That looks pretty cool on me. Also, why did I get a haircut while I was in the helmet? Hmm. Coming off? Oh, that was just my haircut. Can you like that? Thought I had a different. No way, it does change. Or. Could that be the. I don't know. All I do know is I have a spacesuit now. That is awesome. And, wow, it my It doesn't have the stupid. Hey, you're wearing the Pit Boy, so you have to wear that glove free. I like it. But for now, I think we need to end things off. We're so close to our goal. But, sadly, we have run out of time. So next time on Fallout New Vegas, ladies and gentlemen, we are hopefully going to find those thrust control modules and help these ghouls achieve their dream of going into space. See you guys next time. Later.